everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing some tips, tricks, and hacks for hand tools to either help you uh, use your tools better, or get all of the use and features out of them, or get around not having the right tools out in the field. And in some of these cases, these are not the advised way of doing things, they're just ways of doing things that will get you out of trouble if you've only got limited tools, uh, by the side of the road or something like that. We're going to start off with um, what, what should be a basic one, but actually experience says is not common knowledge. And that is very often people slip off the bolt uh, with their spanner or round off the bolt with a spanner because they're not aware that there's a right and wrong way to use a spanner. I know it sounds a little odd, but if you've never been shown it, you'll never know. So. This is what's called a combination spanner, just because it has a ring on one, hen, one end and an open end on the other. And it's the open end that a lot of us need to use because of access and getting in, uh, we, we use the open end. And if I'm trying to undo this bolt, i.e. turn it anti-clockwise, then there's a right and wrong way of doing it. This is the right way of doing it which is different to this, which is the wrong way of doing it. And I'll tell you the reasoning behind it. So once you get the reasoning, you'll remember which way very easily. And that is, if I'm trying to undo this bolt and I put it on the correct way, which is that way, you note that the handle is cranked uh, in the direction where I want to go. If I turn the spanner to there, then what you can see is I'm pushing that way. In order for, so I'm pushing that way, in order for this to slip off the, the nut or the head of the bolt, the spanner has to come towards me because the jaws are attacking the bolt like that. So, I'm putting lots of force on, might be a really big bolt. I also know that I am actually forcing the spanner on to the nut. If I go the opposite way, now we're on the opposite way, the jaws are reversed, and again, I'm trying to put force on in this direction. I don't want it to slip off. But as I apply that force, some of it is helping pull the spanner off. Because the flats on this go that way. And so if we look at this, as it slides off the nut, it's going in the direction where I'm pushing it. I'm helping it off. Other way around. In order for it to come off the nut or the bolt, it's got to come back towards me. And that's why there's a right and wrong way of using a spanner. I should tighten like that and I should loosen like that. And yes, because of access, sometimes we'll flip to get a little bit better angle, but as soon as you can, you get it back onto the correct side. And I'll do that the same as everybody else. You flip it just to be able to get onto uh, a nut or a bolt head in a particular situation but the moment you can get it on the right way, you use it the right way. How to use a spanner.